Good morning, super cool party people, and I have no idea what I should say now. I was gonna say welcome back for another beautiful day at the theater or something to that effect, but it's not really, it's, it's not raining. Well, it's not raining hard. It was starting to rain when I got out of the car to come to the door of the theater, so... But that's okay. I was up oh, way too late last night, like way too late because I was working on important book stuff. I had an email to send and like I said yesterday, I was working on the title and I mean, I did say I was gonna reveal it today, so I guess that's a thing. With Jessica's help, I've decided to leave it as the Edge series, at least for the time being, because she brought up a compelling point to keep it as such, so it's going to be called the Edge series. There are five books in it. It used to be called the Edge trilogy because there used to be three, that changed. And the name for book one at the moment, and it's growing on me more and more as I look at it, and especially because I popped it in my query letter, but the name of book one is Emanate. And I really think it works, it gets the vibe, and it goes with the theme, and the theme is E. <laughs> yeah, we said last night. There, there was a left and right path that we could take. We went to whatever path E was. <laughs> the other path was an R path, and I really liked some of the words that we came up with for titles, but I really felt that it was just too on the nose. So, emanate it is. So far, so good. I worked up quite a bit on my query letter last night, tightening it up, and so it's like tight, 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 disaster, tight, tight. So we're getting there, but progress, progress, progress. Uh, I'm really sleepy today though. I feel like I'm really sleepy every day. So I'm gonna go have my breakfast drink, hopefully wake up, and then gear up towards what should be a short day here at the theater, which will be nice. Also, I think I got out of going through the storage locker because my grandma called my mom to see if my mom was off this morning and it's supposed to not be super windy and rainy, so I think they're gonna go do it while I'm at work, so I'm okay with that. Also, I get to sleep in tomorrow and it is the most exciting thing ever. I just got home from the longest day ever. Remember how I said that my mom was gonna help my grandma in the storage unit? Turns out that didn't happen, so I got off work. And then I had to go, so I got off work and then my grandma couldn't pick me up right away to meet up with her, so I ran an errand and then I met up with my mom who was in her car waiting to go to work because she's weird and she does that. And then I'm dying. And then we went for lunch and then we went to the storage unit and um, like two and a half hours in there easy, like it was brutal. And then we were about to leave. I discovered my grandma had lost her phone. Tried to call it, didn't have any service. <laughs> Found it, once I like stopped and thought about it logistically and reasonably, I found it pretty quickly, which was nice, but then it was a matter of getting it because it had fallen underneath of a tool chest, which was like halfway into the storage locker. Awesome. And then she was like, I wanna bake tonight, so we need to go shopping. So we did that. I'm <laughs> so tired. I'm changing right now, just changed my pants. I was half naked. And um, then I got cooked dinner. <sighs> the only plus side is that I get to sleep in tomorrow. I'm also still moderately riding on a high from my book title, Emanate, and I gave my aunt her Christmas present early, which is, which is this. Ooh, it's Emanate. It's so much cooler when I like have a name for it. it doesn't say on it, but emanate. Um, so she was very excited about that. She hates getting Christmas presents from me. She's always like, don't spend your money on me, blah, 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 blah. But I knew she'd really appreciate it. And because she's always supported me so much, like for years and years and years on this and just in my life in general, I, you know, it, it was a gift she needed to get. Anyways, I need to change my shirt and then you do like make, cook some things so I'll check in with you later all right so it has been like I said a long day we just had dinner dinner I was gonna say lunch and now uh, my sister-in-law and I are heading to the store we need to get some light bulbs and some stocking stuffers let's try to remember to do this I am getting a hug from a bear <laughs> Really? 
Okay, successful trip of getting a roaster for him and stocking stuffers. Bam. All right, back home now. What was I doing? Phone. And um, light bulbs have been replaced. That's not my phone, that's my GoPro. And um, yeah, looking, looking good. We need to do one of the light bulbs outside tomorrow because it's broken, so we'll do that in the daylight. The old one's broken, not the new one. Uh, but overall, pretty good. Oh, I'm dying, just a little. It's been a long day. Alrighty, well it is midnight and I am tired, but also hungry, so I might have to solve that, but mostly tired. So I think I'm gonna end the vlog right here. I'm still super excited that I have got a title for my book finally. Ugh, it feels like it's a real thing now. Like, 98,000 words doesn't feel real. 98,000 words with a title feels real. It's good. Anyway, I'm exhausted. I have been for days. I'm gonna go to sleep. So, with that, thanks for coming along on today's adventure, and I'll see you tomorrow when we do very similar things. Good night.